Before I show you now how to create a grayscale image for a displacement map, let me talk about how you can actually hide this grid so you can really see your, your handiwork. On the bottom of these controls here, you see that we have this grid and control colors. And if you open that up, you'll be able to change the grid colors if you want to. So if, if yellow is distracting or you want to change that, feel free to use these swatches here to open up your color picker and change them. But to temporarily hide this grid, you click right here where it says grid and controls. And now you can really see your work. Okay, so as you can see, this looks like a real flag now. But what if you want to take this a step further and instead of moving these points around yourself, you have an image push the geometry like this or close to it. Well, I'm going to head over to Photoshop. Now, just in case you don't have Photoshop in your work files folder, I have a grayscale version of the same file for you. So just feel free to watch what I'm going to do here and then join me back into After Effects to apply the actual map itself. So what in the world is a displacement map? Well, let me just go back over here again. When we moved these points around, we took what was flat and we displaced its position and put it in a different position. What you could do with a picture is the same thing. Now, in many applications, there are something uh, things called a displacement map and a bump map. Both give you the uh, illusion of perturbing the geometry so that we have raised and lowered parts of it. So we're going to use an image of the same image, which was kind of funny to say, to make this flag look like it's actually uh, distorted. So I'm going to take this image here and I'm going to go to image menu. And this tutorial should actually be called how many times can I say the word image? And I'm going to go to image mode grayscale. And then it's going to ask me if I want to discard the color information. I'm going to say yes and discard. Now we have a grayscale image. Now something that's very important to understand before I do that, I'm going to undo that real fast, is you have to go to image mode and then make sure you're on RGB color. If you have an indexed color image, for example, something you got from the internet, turn it to RGB first so that you can get this effect. So I'm going to go to grayscale and now we are ready to go. The way this is going to work is After Effects is going to look at these colors here and based on the black or white or gray will determine what gets pushed up and what gets pushed back. So once again, I have this on my desktop already. So I'm just going to go back to After Effects and I'm going to then bring that map in. So I'm going to just simply import it like anything else. I'll just go ahead and double click here. And here's mine, flag SM side. And once again, this is in your work files folder. I'll open that up. And in the next part, I'll show you how to apply this to the flag.